Hello everybody, E here. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. And yes, I'm already laughing because I don't want to be here. Uh, we're talking about John Connolly's The Whisperers. Uh, this is probably my least favorite book in the series, uh, hands down. Uh, like the other ones I was talking about, I read this one months ago. I'm going to read you the description on the back of the book to try and refresh my memory so I can talk about this. I didn't do any notes, and unfortunately the book was so forgettable, I don't remember anything about this one whatsoever. The other ones I kind of vaguely remember some stuff, but, uh, oh, this one has, hang on, this one has a sticker over the, over the description. And it's, of course, it's going to rip, but I can see through it. So, in the dark reaches of Maine's North Woods, a group of Iraq war veterans is engaged in a ruthless smuggling operation across the Canadian border. I don't remember any of that. If that's the plot of the story, man. I'd... But what they have unleashed is far more dangerous uh, than even they realize. An ancient evil locked away in Iraq for centuries. I think I do remember something about that, um, about the looting that happened in Iraq. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't know. I read, I read two other books that had to deal with the same thing around the same time, oddly enough. Um, but uh, it's, it, it was one of those plot lines that, again, like I said, it did absolutely nothing for me. I don't even remember the interactions that I normally love with uh, Parker, Louis, Louis, whatever, and Angel. Uh, evil has dogged Charlie Parker's steps costing him his career as a cop and his license as a private investigator. Again, that happened before Reapers. So, you know, that happened several books back. Uh, now as veterans begin dying mysteriously, he is called in to stop the bloodletting. Oh, is this the one about PTSD? I think it was. It had very heavy notes of that in it. Um, I think I did end up liking that bit. Um, and it also has to deal with the Collector. I'm pretty sure, because anytime there's like a stolen item in this universe, the Collector pops up. Which, I, I love the Collector. Don't get me wrong, I just can't remember his his point in this one. I guess to find the, the piece that was stolen. Uh, but the smuggled, literally it says but. I didn't say but, this was said but. The smuggled objects have attracted the attention of the reclusive Herod and his henchmen. The shadowy figure he calls the captain. To defeat them, Parker must form an uneasy alliance with a man he fears more than any other, the killer known as the Collector. So it wasn't a spoiler, it was on the it was literally on the back of the book. I don't remember anything about this one. Um, I'm giving it two stars. Uh, I am looking so looking forward to restarting uh, this. Me and my buddy Aaron Nash are going through these books, um, and we're reading a fantasy novel, a John Irving novel, a science fiction novel, and then a Connolly novel. Maybe not in that order, but we're cleansing our palate between Connolly novels because now they're kind of just they're just all blurring together. So we're putting some space because we read all four of these. We read The Reapers. We read. Let's see here, the the lovers, and the next review you get from me is for the burning soul. Um, but we read those four back to back to back, and it just it you really started to see the structural. Uh, you really started to see the the stuff that that what he uses like the plot points that he uses over and over and over again. But what I hear with the wrath of angels, he brings back the supernatural hardcore, and that's what I'm looking forward to. So, have you read The Whispers? Did you like it? Did you not? Um, I would love to hear from you if you liked it and what you like so much about it. Leave all those comments down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!